And you know, I think we can all agree it's been a year. So all the more reason to decorate your home and lift your spirits. Tamara is going to show us those three different festive looks that will give you and your family an extra dose of holiday cheer and tea. If a snowy white Christmas is on your wish list, you've got ideas for a winter white palette. I absolutely do. And also everything that I'm showing today, you can buy online or over the phone so you can stay home and stay cozy. Now, we've seen a trend over the last five years, especially on Instagram, of a lot of all white interiors and tonal decorating with white and cream accessories. And the good news is that there's tons of white holiday decor that's beautiful out there. And a lot of people really do like to match their holiday decor to their interior so that, you know, how they've decorated the rest of the year. And so that's something easy to do. I love this uh, really cool advent calendar. So obviously it's customizable, reusable every year, and you can put whatever you want in these little drawers. So you can fill them with candy or chocolate or toys. I like that it's a reusable thing that you're not just disposing of. And then we also, I've also brought these birch trees, which I think are great. And of course they look fabulous in groups and they do light up. It's hard to tell because it's bright where I am, but they're wireless. Also um, using them to hang and display little ornaments is a nice trick. So this beautiful little birch tree, our faux shearling stocking, uh, felt wreath and advent calendar are all from Indigo. And then if you look behind me, this wreath was made by uh, Quince Flowers and it's like a cotton with some magnolia leaves and other accoutrements. And what you should consider is if you live in an apartment building or a condo, a lush evergreen wreath is not going to last at warmer temperatures. But you can use a custom made beautiful dried wreath and then again reuse it year after year and that's something appropriate that you could put on your door in a, in a condo. Oh, that's lovely. And T, extra points for buying local. That's excellent and it's on everyone's mind this season. So there's always room for some sparkle yes. this time of year. Have you got some bling for us? I have a little bit of bling, but it's not the same as the bling of seasons past. Like we've, we've seen a lot of like over the top crystal and glitter. And what I like about this, I think it's sort of more modern glamour is that it's understated. So um, you're going to see some non-traditional colors, colors that I like to use in my own house, like this kind of sea foam and dusty rose. But when you bring in, like these beautiful ornaments have just a touch of glitter along the edge. So it's quite understated and elegant, but there's definitely still some sparkle and shine. Also bringing in gold with this look, but again, like if you look at this tree topper, it's a streamlined modern shape, uh, really adorable. Also, I'm showing a um, tea light holder uh, these um, this beautiful tea light holder and all of these paper ornaments with just a bit of gold on them are from H&M home and I have another local wreath this beautiful wreath behind me is from emblem and they have spray painted the pine cones and magnolia leaves gold it's probably bigger than your front door but it could go on the front of a porch or a garage and feel you know really special there and then of course, oh my God, I just, I love this uh, faux fur tree skirt too, it is so soft and snuggly. Mm. But again, it's not like of the sparkle of Christmas past. Totally not. It's gorgeous and it's contemporary and it's luxe, which I love. So last but not least, you've got something for the traditionalist who might want a bit of a twist. When it comes to Christmas, like that red and green color palette, sort of for a lot of people, it instantly transports you into that joyful feeling. And it's very nostalgic for people when they think of their childhoods. But we're doing that traditional um, with a little bit of a different influence. So first of all, I like the addition of some black to just as a grounding element in this look. And then we're also seeing a strong Scandinavian influence. So, you know, there's a lot of natural materials like linen, this gorgeous linen pillow, wood, um, cotton, and paper and felt. 
it really feels like something that you, you know, went to a flea market and, and picked up in your travels. However, you know, they're from Ikea, so anyone can get them <laughs> and it, it just has that real nostalgic feeling. And then of course I have another fresh wreath. This one is from Pink Twig and, you know, we're just going classic here with red berries, red balls, some red burlap ribbon, and this is a primarily boxwood wreath. So that will really, that will last in colder temperatures right up until Christmas and look fantastic. Thanks to Mark.